Hey everyone, good morning. It's me, Lindsay, and here's Teddy. Welcome to Moms on the Left University. Today we're gonna to be talking about the filibuster. So just a quick reminder for you, what is a filibuster and when is it used? Um, the filibuster is the practice in the Senate of allowing unlimited debate on um, either a bill or a presidential nominee in order to delay or uh, even prevent a vote from uh, occurring. Um, and the filibuster is basically a way for the minority party to um, <clears throat> have their voice heard in the Senate. A filibuster is basically um, a senator or a group of senators, preferably, um, can uh, conduct a filibuster by talking a bill to death, essentially. A filibuster requires 60 votes to stop. We call that cloture, invoking cloture. Um, and 60 votes is really hard to get in the Senate. Right now, the Republicans only have 52 seats, and to be able to sway eight Democrats over to their side for anything um, would you know, probably be pretty difficult. Traditionally, like we said, a filibuster involves a senator actually speaking on the floor nonstop um, until the other side can garner enough votes to end the filibuster and actually vote on the bill. In more recent times, more modern times, uh, even just the threat of a filibuster um, can be enough to stop a bill from being voted on on the Senate floor. We call this a silent filibuster, where a senator or a group of senators from the minority party um, threatens to block the bill this way. Um, this is also why we say in the Senate that even though you only need 51 votes for a piece of legislation to actually make it off the Senate floor uh, to pass, you kind of need a 60 vote threshold because you need uh, 60 votes and able to block a filibuster uh, from occurring. Throughout history, uh, the longest uh, traditional filibuster, talking filibuster, was Strom Thurmond um, in 1957. He spoke for 24 hours on the floor of the Senate in opposition of the Civil Rights Bill of 1957. Today, uh, you might hear uh, in the news or in the media people talking about Republicans um, enacting what we call the nuclear option. So what does that mean? Uh, the Senate, in Article One of the Constitution, and actually gives the Senate the right to set their own rules for uh, debate. And so in 2013, the Democrats actually did this, invoked the so-called nuclear option, kind of. And they voted to change the rules of the filibuster so that you only needed a simple majority, 51, uh, actually 50, uh, votes to uh, invoke cloture and stop a filibuster. And they used that to push through some Obama nominees for the lower court. There has been some talk about Republicans potentially doing this um, for the Supreme Court nominee. Um, it looks like they're not going to do that. It looks like they don't really want to mess uh, with the filibuster and they want to be able to get that 60-vote uh, threshold, but kind of remains to be seen. So hopefully this was a good quick refresher and reminder for you about what a filibuster is and how it's used in the Senate. Um, and hopefully we'll see you back next week. Thanks for your support. See you out there.